Well, I think I think there's a lot of those kids out there that don't know the history of the sport or the people who are in the sport, um, you know, from the beginning and what those people contributed to the sport. And Craig definitely falls into that category. A lot of kids these days don't know who he was or what he did or what you know what his uh, what he accomplished. And um, you know, I mean, he was obviously he was a rider. He was an innovator. He was a you know explorer he was a mountaineer he was um he did he did more for the sport i think than just about you know anybody anybody in it other than you know maybe somebody so many people like jake and stuff who had or were actually making the products for riders like craig but uh i think there was the most influential um snowboarder that there ever was and probably will ever will be It's been 10 years and since I've seen him, obviously, and you know, he still uh, definitely affects me, like in, in things I do, for sure. Like in, in snowboarding and the way I try to carry myself in snowboarding or uh, the sport in general, you know, how I look at it. Coming to places like this, like, dude, it'd be so awesome to be here with Craig. And this is like, this is his place. Like, it's just right up his alley, you know? It's like, it's the sickest lodge out in the backcountry, like, amazing terrain and just, people just taking runs and partying out in the backcountry. Like it's insane, you know? That's exactly what he loved to do. Never actually interacted with a man. The primary relationship I have with Craig Kelly is purely secondary through people that I'm inspired by, that I really look up to, telling me incredible stories about their interactions. It's crazy because a guy like that who I never had direct contact with um, inevitably has had, a, has had a huge impact on my life. It was the first snowboard I ever had. I had a Craig Kelly Micro Air uh, 145, that purple and yellow one. That was, uh, that was my first snowboard ever. I'll, I've snowboarded with thousands of snowboarders since I've ridden with Craig, and I've never seen anybody ride a snowboard like Craig did. Just a uh, he was the master of turning, and he really had his hands dialed. His he he really either must have thought about it or been born with it. But every move was really, really contemplated and executed like perfectly. Mm -hmm. 